Hi Jemima. Hi Trini. We are getting towards party season. We are. So I thought today I would do party. We've done party before, we've done dress up before, but there's never ending options. Also Trini London's fifth birthday today, which I just have to celebrate with you guys because many of you have been incredibly supportive to Trini London and we always give a party. Everyone dresses up. I always wear trainers with a really smart dress mm -hmm. and I think it's my most comfortable way of doing party wear. It is. So yeah. where is this dress from Trini? This this dress is H&M and every year H&M do a, a collaboration and they did it with L'Envin designer Albert Albers who passed away. So if I were to do a heel with it and it's not bad but there's something about this that just doesn't make me feel chilled. Mm. It's you kind know? of predictable. It's predictable and if this was something that was up here yes. it would be really nice with that length but being here it still doesn't work and if it was there it would be perfect yes. because you just have the coverage of the um, shoe by the fabric and you just look lovely and tall. Mm -hmm. Is this a piece of jewellery or is this part of the dress? It's a part of the dress. I just wonder if I would look at other dresses and sew a necklace in. I but, was about to say. Yeah, because it is an option you could do, but then you lose the opportunity yeah. to wear that next with other things. But I think what I love about this is I throw it on and I'm fully dressed. I don't have to think about jewellery or anything. No. And that's the joy of this dress and it's comfortable. I can eat lots of food in it, but I feel like I've made an effort. Yeah, you look yeah. great. And I've yeah. noticed this palette is very similar. I know. It's I can't get away from sequins for this <laughs> idea because sequins are the quickest way to up the antis. So for this look for makeup, all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of sun eye to eye just to add on that added sparkle around my eyes and keep it clean. This is the kind of moment when you want to dress up on your top half, but your bottom half is just the extension of the outfit, but not the first impression. Mm -hmm. So a plain black pair of wide leg jeans, which are Donna Ida, a plain black shoe, rubber tertiary, and then I've got this really old Topshop top that I haven't bought for ages. And I'm just going to now layer and layer. So I'm going to start with a sequin jacket. It could be any of them. I don't know which one this is. This is a Sports Max one. And I don't mind at all doing shimmer with shimmer in this instant when you're casual here I really overemphasize the top half and then I might just layer even more so let's go to the jewelry so I'm thinking I want that gold and maybe I want some pearl so when I layer necklaces I start with the kind of feel I want which is that I've got the um, tie going right the way down so I feel my necklaces can go down as well yeah. and then it brings the glamour lower down so that really long necklace for this is very good whether you've got boobs or not it will just nestle in between them and then I might do another layer which is this other these are all a mixture of old Chanel beads and beads that I got from um, the markets in India and that to me does it the joy of this on the top half I'm really glam and I'm also covered up. There are some times I think we want to do a smart look, not necessarily a party look, but like a work event that's really smart where we don't want to put on a dress mm -hmm. and that when we're sitting at the table, we so look like we've made an effort. Yes. The art of this is there's a big difference between doing this yeah. and just having something neatly tucked in. Yes. You know, it just kind of then has a huge contrast between the dense of the blackness and this is casual, that smart, and that intersection which we always try and play with on Closet Confessions of introducing to each end of your outfit the relationship to diffuse between the waist and the upper thigh. Very clever. Yeah. Trini, can I ask what bag you would do with this? I might do that. It's gold, but I've got elements of gold and silver, and I love mixing metal. So I might do that and it brings a bit more down to the jacket. Mm -hmm. Would I do that? You know, once you go over the top, keep going over the top is my thought. <laughs> layer and layer and layer. So I, I think that just is everything up top says party. Yeah, more is more. Yeah, so I kind of love that. I could just do a little black clutch, which is actually chic and really mm -hmm. nice idea. And then I bring a bit of that density of the black up to the top. Yeah, which one is your favorite? I don't know, I'm kind of gravitating toward this now and I can add to the chains. That's quite nice because now we've brought a bit of the black up. That's so cool. The crossroads of one's outfit. Party wear can require fab eye makeup. So I'm wearing this dress, which is like my best buy this season. And I'm just gonna put a bit of Persephone on top of what I've got on to highlight the beautiful blue in the dress. Such a feeling of party. I had to go pinkier on my lip with a little dido. There. 
One of the quickest ways to have a party look is to get a sequin dress. It really is. And there are many on the high street. I got this from Zara. It's one of the best sequin dresses they've done. It just gives an amazing shape. It's that instant appeal. It's short enough that I will wear a heel with it. And I feel, yes, I'm ready to party. And I'm gonna egg it up even more and put some earrings on. I want to just have everything glowing. I love the back, Trini, when you walked back. past. How okay. gorgeous. And I like the little side cleavage. Gorgeous. <laughs> that there's so much going on in the dress that would you just have the color extending but actually, I think that goes very well on many levels. This is a really old Jamon Poesh, which is a handbag designer, did these earrings. Wow. Because they're sequin, I actually am liking the idea. I didn't go for obvious bright stones. Mm -hmm. I just went for colour. I see. No, it's very subtle, but pretty. Yeah. Then always there's that thing of what do I wear on top? And it's about the length because you either wear something short yes. or you wear something the length of the dress. Okay. In between, I feel looks a little bit like if you had a navy day coat, how it would look with it. And it's all right, those lengths, because the coat is very clean. I don't mind that it ends like that. It is still like I'm nearly wearing day wear, but mm -hmm. I think because it's navy and not black, it's a bit softer, there's a bit of black up here. Oh, well, then maybe. This is where we have that secret look at the other coats. My um, sort of faux fur pieces. These are things that I've collected over the years. And when I'm thinking of full on party wear, I do come here first and think, is there something here that I can wear? So this is a little, sort of like sheep skinny thing and that could go over the top like that it's very over the top where's that from this is from Saks pots it's very full-on and i haven't worn it much because i feel it envelops me it's a statement hell of a statement but the <laughs> color i don't know either but it's just i wanted to show it to you all right thank you this is an old french connection one and it's just the idea of fur and sequins one could do that and then it doesn't matter the length so much because it's of such a different texture mm -hmm. so i might do that too but whilst we're here some good little faux furs i bought over the years it looks like i should have bought it in a market and it's an old real fur from the 60s but it's Zara doing faux fur. No. Yeah. Wow. Like that. Funnily enough, Brown and Petra is actually rather pretty together. Yeah. Um, Molly's just brought me now what she considers the better shoes. Yeah. Oh, just if you're having that coat, it's got the gold buttons. Oh, it's got the gold buttons, exactly. You're right, so then it would be a change of shoe. Very good, Molly. <laughs> and this is the most glam thing, because it's Diamante and faux fur. And this is Zara. No. Yes. Gosh, Zara has some good bit. Yeah, it's got a bomber jacket thing to it. It's just so mad but I don't think it's a perfect thing yet. We're gonna continue going. You could go for a raincoat in a blue. So you have it like that. This is from Ark. And there's that little bit of sequin poking at the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's a cold, rainy night. Cool. And then you have that reveal moment when you, you enter. Wow, so that works for me for length. The yeah. blues are not perfect, but for length it works. This would be, you know, really egging it. Um, and this is another faux fur from Prada. Oh, this is genius. This might be the one. This is Topshop. The colour is perfect. Gorgeous. It couldn't be more perfect and elegant. And then you can also switch it out. I mean, it wasn't meant to be reversible, but I did reverse it when I wore it <laughs> out. And if I wanted to have the silver and the silver, I could just have that warmth on the inside if it was ringy, oh, for example, clever. and do that. I like this as well. But the pockets are a bit weird, but it's kind of fun. Two things here. One is the perfect black tuxedo trouser. This one is one that we did with a Susanna a while ago. I just made it fit me because it was too small. And then I've got, finally, a Susanna came back with the padded shoulder thing. But I was thinking, what if I want to do that kind of Jane Birkin moment? The Birkin bag from Hermes was named after. You always would do tuxes or Bianca Jagger, that tux. And it has nothing underneath, but it has something. So it's that slouch like that. Mm -hmm. Which is, this is very different for me. And I have to think, how would I wear this that it feels good? There's the beginning of something here, and this is very different from my doing the choker with that previous tux look. You know, I have this jacket forever. It's quite fitted. This is like a little corset in this jacket. I can even just do that a bit more and I could have a push-up bra. You know, we could take it anywhere. And the back is just so beautiful. This is the kind of thing to look for on those secondhand sites is that magical black jacket and the jacket is a much longer line and slightly slouchier this is Stella McCartney feeling a huge earring and an interesting bag or ring but keeping this clean or oh, put the hat on oh the hat's back yes I just want to bring that in the equation yeah it gives it a different vibe also I mean just this is another thing I'm just going to do this now because I happen to have this, <laughs> wig, this wig here and I'm just interested to know if I just actually in fact change things by just doing a wig 
And was your wig <laughs> on your phone stand? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's like, you know, I, I don't want to be fancy dressed and I want it to look real. It looks too fake, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks, I okay, think it's sorry. just the blending at the root, but the first I wig on the root is actually quite cool. No, it is cool. Yeah, but for a snow queen, I think. But I can keep playing with this or even... Oh, maybe the hat on top. <gasps> wow. I mean... But I like seeing you this blonde. <laughs> The good thing about a plain black outfit is plain black doesn't suit me, so I'm doing really interesting things to show you visibly how black suits totally different skin, hair and eye combinations. And start with the hair, make the hair incredibly cool, and you start to suit black. So when we do skin, hair and eye on Match to Me on Tony London, that's what we're playing with. You know, I can have a bit of blusher, but I can get away with this colouring of the black now. It's washing me out yeah, less cool. than that. Mm. Do you think? I also think the sparkles on the hat help. They did help. Okay, I'm... No, I like it. Down. But the last look we did with like a tux was very sexy, and this is a bit more cool, isn't it? Yeah. So let's keep on the cool train. Would you just do a giant pearl? I could do a giant pearl. This is Zara. That's nice with this the one, and with the black. Lovely. And this is a vintage one from a company in Kensington High Street. I got thirty-five years ago near my old flat called Marola. So that's yeah. more classic. Yeah. And that's which one do we think? I'm going to vote for Zara. Yeah, I'm going to vote, vote Zara. Zara. Excellent, because it felt more modern, didn't it? Yeah. It didn't feel so kind of traditional. So then what about makeup? I'm liking the shimmer of Dido. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just that I do it really clean. There is a part of me that wants to try something. The sexiest thing in life can be a single strand of pearls and just wear them in a slightly different way. You know, you wouldn't wear like that. That feels classic. Mm -hmm. Would you tie them in a knot? No, I wouldn't, because I hate knotted jewelry. Sorry. That's all right. But I might also, <laughs> would I do just a single thing at the top, which becomes a bit more pretty, pretty. It's amazing when you change jewelry, but just that very thin chokery thing, or even, you know, when you have pearls, you can really make them sit where you want to, so you could make it sit higher. Mm -hmm. And then they're just like popping like. out of the blazer because it's yeah, so oversized. Yeah, and it's like that, you see them and they're sort of a flash Gordon. Yeah. I don't usually like matching jewelry, but there's something quite nice, just, you know, keeping the hair a bit messy so you don't always see the pearl, like you don't always see that, you get flashes depending mm. on where it is. And then with, the, with my makeup, I might just do a tiny bit more smoky on my eyes. Yeah. So let me just do that. I'm just going to use Universe and I'm just going to do just darker this is like granite this color and then really smudge it in and then I might put even more some Eugenie on it and not make it so shiny so I'm just going to take it down because I made the eye darker I like to make the lip more muted it just works better for me BFFI and this is my quickest way to clean up my smoky eye I really love this look actually and I really like how versatile this might mm. be for me but if somebody sort of sees my nipple frankly I don't give a shit that's just me but it could be that you wear a seamless bra underneath as well and the strength of the shoulder makes the outfit sort of that cooler modern tux look yeah it's slouchy but it's, slouchy. it's got that structure. structure it's sexy it's cool yeah, yeah. okay next one so I'm keeping the black trousers on because lots of us have black trousers and a white top. How can you then make that a bit more fun? Now I'm going to show you with my Alice Templey sequin gilet that you know over the years I had many pretty little things. They did a fantastic one. Topshop did them over the years. I think there'll be lots on eBay and places like that. Mm -hmm. So I would look because it just, as you can see, immediately transforms an outfit. Yeah, and it's so fun. It's so fun and it just... You feel joyous in it. It's when you just want to throw something on. A trouser underneath is good that it's floppy. If it's tight, it gives a very different look. So I love the flop. I like the high waistness and then the cleanness. And I'm, I would just do it like that. And then, because you both haven't asked. Which bag, bag you need? I'm going to do a look tomorrow so keep it really clean and silvery like that. Nice. A little bit of the black of the look tomorrow. Consider a sequin coat. The next look I'm doing, I am wearing white on the top, so I just want to take away the smoky eye. And I'm going to do a lip. Do some Rossi. There. I haven't tried this yet, but I went to buy it for a fancy dress party and I wanted to be the white queen. It's from Ad Hoc and it was 80 quid. But what I liked is that it was a piece that kind of oh. went everywhere. So it, it just became something you put on your top. I think that's an amazing way to take a white top and black trousers and just make it something fab. Totally, and the red lip as well, it's very cool. It's clean and I think the other bonus here is the length, the height of the trouser. So yeah. if this is a kind of key component of making it elegant because if it was a trouser that was there, do you see it's a slightly different, like it's daytime. Yeah. The main thing here is because I've got this complicated thing on, 
what would I wear as a coat? Which you haven't asked me yet, but I'm presuming you will. <laughs> the Zara cape, because you need a cape when you have a complicated top piece. So I'd wear the cape over it. Yeah, it's really classy yeah. with that cape yeah, as well. Really cool. Again, we're playing with that thing of plain black trousers, bring the top of the outfit onto the trouser yes. to make it an outfit. Last outfit. The other thing is just to have a full on smoky eye. So I'm just amping up with a little bit of universe and taking it really high and very, very roughly smoking it out. So this is just what do you do with a plain black dress? Now this is the only plain black dress I own. It's so old, it's Mali Capolino. I never wear it. So I'm just gonna think, lots of people have a black dress, what do we do? Idea number one is what I call topping and tailing. It is having the cuff with the Prada shoe. It's the idea that you have silver or gold, topping and tailing. So this is Pacaraba, but it's something that if we look at investment dressing, it is an investment, it's really expensive. But the idea of having this kind of breastplate that you can put on anything, I put it on white shirts, black dresses like this. I put it under coats with a little camisole. It just goes anywhere and it has transformed the dress. This is a gilet that I made. Now I copied it from a Zara gilet. The glamour is in the gilet and the backdrop is the dress. And now I put a belt over the gilet, over the black dress, just to give it another look. This is a really old Balmain belt. It's one of my favorite belts in my wardrobe and I can wear it over so many things and it transforms an outfit. This is a mixture of get your hair messy and have a fun scarf and feel the 70s moment of the dress because I always associate a little round the neck scarf with big hair and a grungy boot, but it could be a high heeled wedge as well. Now a little bit of pearl and a little bit of a heel. So these are Russian Bromley, flat patent heels, really high but actually comfortable. And this is a mixture of Chanel necklaces with a little Indian necklace thrown in. But the elongation of the necklace to go all the way down your torso is what makes it here. So if there were high ones up here, it wouldn't look the same. Head down chic, oversized sequin jacket and a pair of white trainers. Russell Bromley and Sports Max. Taking extension of the sequins to the floor nearly. Teresa Van Noten sequin coat. Um, wearing it with flat grungy boot, Prada, but Zara did some identical this season. I actually have both and could never tell the difference between the two. And black bag. Super glamorous running around daytime moment. Last up, just having to get my favorite hat in. And just like having a mad headpiece or a hat or a super cool pair of sunglasses, Marnie Prada, some cuffs and a chunky boot. I'd never do this with a high heel boot. Darling, we are now just heading for November, I think, aren't we? Yes. What I'd love to see the community doing is showing all different ways they would make a black dress look more interesting. So a challenge for you ladies is to look and how can you take your LBDs and take them to a new place. So think, yeah, can we do that? Yeah. yeah, and I just want to see lots of pictures. And of... Jemima, next week we want to see you. It, yeah, oh, and that's, yes, yes, that's your, we haven't seen that for a while, Jemima, because no. we don't use a lot out of sync. Yeah. We will be looking at coats soon and different ways to wear coats. We're looking yeah. at bags, jumpers. Oh, yes. We haven't done jumpers for a while. Jumpers. No. Just how can we up the ante on jumpers? Why don't you let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next? Yeah, I would also love to have another one with Lila. I think she would be oh, great. I know. And Lila's new wardrobe. Yeah, Lila's yeah. new wardrobe. In fact, that's got to be because she's wearing so many of my old clothes in a different style, and it's really good to see what she's doing with them. Yeah. Okay, until next week. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Jemima. Thanks, Jenny. Bye. Bye.